Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to talk about photo play of the guided edits in Chapter 6. Go ahead and select these two pictures. You may have to scroll down. You can select the two pictures by dragging a marquee through the thumbnails themselves. And it's Photography Play Out of Bounds. And then right click, Edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. And the statue should be the one we're looking for first. And it was the last one that we selected. So it's the first one that's displayed in the Photoshop Elements Editor. Go ahead and choose the Guided section. And then we're going to go under Photo Play and choose Out of Bounds. And this gives you a preview of before and after. So this is before, after, before, after. Okay, so now first thing they ask you to do is create a frame. So we're going to make a little frame. It's going to convert it to 16 to 18 bits because most of my photos are in 18 bits. Sorry about that. And I'm going to make a little frame here. And here. Okay. I'm going to add some perspective by Control Shift drag in here. And then control shift drag in here so it looks about even. It looks like it does. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to check the um, green check mark here. Now it's going to ask me to create a frame around this, the, the, the width of the frame. You basically just drag each side until you see this part come out here. And that's going to be your border width. Okay, I think I need a little bit more on the top here. Okay, let me drag that in a, just a little to make it look even. Okay, it's even there, it's okay. Here probably can be dragged in a little. And then I'm drag it out a little there. Okay, and that looks even. There we go. And I have my frame here. This is the part that's going to be in. This is the part that's going to be out. So the next thing they ask you to do is to check the quick selection tool number three. And you're going to select the part that's going to be out of the frame. You can zoom in by pressing the zoom tool. Excuse me. Let me press the, the plus. Press the space bar so I can move it up. Press the quick selection tool again. And I'm going to select the gentleman here with the tail and I have it on the plus which adds to the selection okay okay I'm gonna actually I'm gonna zoom in first okay there we go and then select the quick selection tool press the left arrow bracket to reduce the size of my brush, I can select the hoof and the leg here. Okay, now I can see that I selected too much, so I'm going to choose the minus here and I'm just trying to get the hoof here. Okay, oops. Okay, so this is fine. Let me see here. I can see there's some area here I need to subtract, so I'm gonna get really small. Okay. Another area here. I'm gonna I need to add to the selection on put I'm gonna press the plus here. Okay. I'm gonna move around and see what's going on here, see if I've missed anything. I'm gonna Press, I'm going to pause the video and keep selecting this. Okay, I finished my selection. Let me show you what it looks like. Let me double see how I selected the horse, the guy on top of the horse, and a little bit of this, and the border itself. you got to select the border because it look, has to look like it's coming out. And I select a little bit under because that doesn't matter. And then I 
next thing I do is I, I uh, click the create out of bounds and instantly look it's popping out of the picture I love it you can add a small shadow medium shadow a large shadow let's do a small okay that looks nice maybe a medium um, maybe a, um, I don't know maybe a medium looks better I could have done a better selection here but you can see the effect that looks very nice but we're not done yet if you want you can add a gradient I just click OK and this will ask you what kind of style gradient do you want radial I pick linear I want it to face down so I'm going to change the angle to 90 and I'm going to change the color to I chose this flyout menu here by clicking on these double triangles and I, I chose uh, I believe simple and then I picked um, like a light brown let's see if that will go better with purple and now I think maybe teal let me move this out of the way see how it would look huh. okay we'll just choose this one for sakes okay so here you can pick your gradient color click on there click on the uh, triangle you can open up your gradients you can choose which type of gradients you want color home Har har color harmonies one to default metals noise samples pastels you can even load gradients that you have uh, saved um, and you can save gradients and you can replace these gradients so there's a whole rule list I'll talk about that in a later lesson but just to quickly show you I just chose the style linear which means it's going to go up and down the angle the scale I could increase the scale if I wanted to but I'm and reduce it Maybe 50 is a little, eh, maybe 70, 80 better. I can do reverse and I can line with layers. Click OK and there's our end product. Not too bad. Click done. Not bad. Let's see a before and after. Not bad. In the next lesson, we'll talk about picture stack and pop art.